back to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma holy flying flipping flapjacks what do we have here the ufc has just raised their pay-per-view price right before one of their least stacked cards ever this is interesting because but actually, if you take UFC 220, and I think I saw this on a um, article, uh, MMA Imports, if I'm not mistaken. If you take UFC 220 and UFC 221 and look at them as a whole, if you you would really need to put those together for a legitimate pay-per-view. Let me explain. UFC 220, Francis Ngannou versus Deep M. Miocic, amazing fight. On the co-main event, you got Daniel Cormier versus Volkan Nozdemir. Now, I can because I fucking pay attention to MMA all day. But you would be hard-pressed to name any other fight on that pay-per-view. Aside from Daniel Cormier and Steve Miocic's title defenses, It's I bet you most of you can't name the next fights. I can, and I'll spoil it for you in five seconds. But you guys, I'm, I'm going to give you this five seconds to see if you can fucking think your hardest. Think right now. Who else is on the Steve Miocic, Francis Ngannou card and the Daniel Cormier, Volkan Ostermere card? Exactly. You got like Shane Burgos versus... Somebody cater, Matthew Cater. You've also got like Rob Font versus Thomas Almeida, which is the fight that I like. And then you've got another fight on that card. And then let's move to UFC 221. Luke Rockhold versus Yoel Romero. Originally, Luke Rockhold versus Robert Whitaker. Robert Whitaker is injured. Now Yoel Romero steps in. I can't even tell you the co-main event of that card off the top of my head. Actually, I can because this is what I do. Can you tell me the co-main event of the next pay-per-view? Yeah, it's Mark Hunt versus Curtis Blades. That's the pay-per-view, not a Fox Sports 1 card, not a big Fox card. And Mark Hunt, of course, he's a legend in the game. Curtis Blades up and comer. But when you're giving me a fucking pay-per-view and you're raising the price and these are the first two, I'm like, oh, I just don't, I don't know if this is the best move, but I'm sure I'm not, I'm not the fucking UFC. These guys are a $4 billion company. They're doing the best move, I'm sure. So, but in my head, I'm thinking, you know, if you're going to raise the price, maybe do it before a big event. Like, we know UFC 222, Max Holloway versus Frankie Edgar in Las Vegas. Sean O'Malley's on that joint. There's a lot of people on UFC 222 in the Las Vegas at the home of the UFC. Also, UFC 223, Khabib versus Ferguson. But I, I'll, I'll give you $65 all day for motherfucking 222 and 223. Hey, all right. But with that being said, 220 and 221, the UFC, and, and it might just be because it's the beginning of the year. You know what I'm saying? We haven't had a pay-per-view in 2018 yet, so they might just want to get the ball rolling on raising the price. Like, hey, this is a fucking 20, 2018 thing. And one thing about that is it's not like, and see, on the article I read, it said, look, the UFC's charging you more for less. The cards are less stacked, and it's more money. Well, yeah, I see what you're saying, but the thing is, there's there's also more frequent cards. I mean, back in the day, there used to be maybe, I don't know what, 40 pay-per-views a fucking year, if that. I don't even know how much there is today. I mean, just, there used to be, as a total, a lot less UFC events, and now there's more. So, it makes sense that the UFC, the cards are less stacked, they're more spread out, I mean... Now, as far as the price being raised, that doesn't reflect on that. They're not saying, hey, look, we're giving you a shittier product for more money. The price being raised to me is a complete diff different fucking, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with that. They're not raising the price because they think UFC 220 and 221 are so stacked. They're doing it in my, and in, in this is just in my head because the fucking, come on, the value of the fucking dollar goes down, what, every damn day? I mean, um, on you know, inflation, if the, if the UFC has been charging $60 for the last... 10 years, it only makes sense that they're going to eventually up the price. I mean, we just paid $100 for Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. That's clearly exorbitant in a super fight. But what I'm saying is the standard price at some time is going to change. I mean, and that's on everything. That's not just UFC pay-per-views. If you, what, what Netflix used to be, what, $7.99 a month? Now it's $9.99 a month. And you can say, well, Netflix started adding a bunch of dope shit. Hey, <laughs> you, you got a point there. But the UFC's got Fight Pass. I mean, they're doing their thing. And not to mention, this pay-per-view model might not even be around for a long time as the UFC negotiates with these other TV companies for TV deals, whether it be Fox or we know it's not going to be Showtime or Netflix or Amazon or any of these 
these different places. We could have UFC like the other sporting organizations on multiple channels. I mean, there's really no telling what's going to happen, but the main thing in this video is the UFC did raise their price for their pay-per-views. Instead of being $59.99, they will now be $64.99. And is that a too big of a deal? No, because usually when you're ordering these fights, if you're ordering it by yourself, for one, $5 isn't going to make or break you. And if you're ordering it with two or three of your friends, everybody else has to put in like, what, one more fucking dollar? So yeah, there's going to be people whining and crying and saying, no, how can they raise the price? This card's not even stacked, bro. And then it, there's also going to be people like me that are just like, all right, you're, if you're not crying about this, you're going to be crying about something else tomorrow, dog. So I don't mind it. I'm still going to be buying all the pay-per-views that I can afford. <laughs> with that being said, it is what it is, man. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out. Da-da-da-da-da, it's the motherfucking D-O-Double-G.